Hi guys, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Do you struggle with flexibilities, harmonic slurs or lip slurs or whatever you call them? Do you struggle to get through each of the notes, especially as it starts to get to your upper part of your range? This video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I fixed that problem for me. So stick around. I used to struggle with slurring between the harmonics, right? So it's harmonic slurs or flexibilities. And for a long time, it really frustrated me because people talk about practicing flexibilities quite a lot and how it really improves your playing. Now, I couldn't do this and I was a professional player before I discovered this trick. Now, this trick was taught to me by my teacher at the time, who was the profession, who was the principal trumpet player of the Sydney Symphony Orchestra for a whopping 34 years. So this guy knows a thing or two about how to play the trumpet efficiently. And this trick is called honking. Now you can do it with any of your flexibility exercises, but today I'm gonna to use one of the exercises out of my trumpet course that you can find from my website, www.learntrumpetnow.com. So if you wanna get the sheet music, go through to that website and you can find it as part of my tr trumpet course. Now, honking. Honking sounds like a bit of a funny kind of name, but what am I talking about with honking? Now, honking is where we start the note without the tongue, and we use like a, a who articulation. And that might sound a bit weird to you because for your entire trumpet playing career, you would have been taught sing to or do or one of those type syllables with a firm tongue at the start. But for this exercise, we're gonna get rid of the tongue and we're just gonna use the air. It'll sound like this. Now, obviously you can hear I'm pretty good at that and it sounds like I am actually using the tongue, but it does differ. So I'll use the tongue now and then I'll use the who, and you hear a difference here, so tongue first. Now I'm gonna get rid of the tongue and do the honking articulation. Now there's only a slight difference there, but that's because I've spent many years practicing this exercise. Now you can do this with any flexibility exercise. I'm gonna use one of the exercises from my course and I'm just gonna honk each note through the flexibility exercise. Now, how does this help? This helps us rely on the instrument to tell us where it wants the note to be played and how we blow through the trumpet to get that note out. Each note wants to be blown slightly differently to each other note. It doesn't mean we have to blow a lot of air. We need to blow a little bit of air because it's only a small instrument, but, each, but the speed of the air is what is important here. So by practicing the honking, and going, who, 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 helps us discover where the trumpet wants us to blow through it and how it wants us to play. We're essentially learning how to work with the trumpet rather than try and dictate to the trumpet. And I would do that through every key.
Now, once you have that honk working and the notes are speaking nicely, now go back and try slurring it as per written for the exercise. You should notice that it'll be a lot easier to play now that you've figured out the right way to blow through the trumpet for each of the notes. You can also honk the first note, so you can get rid of the tongue completely, if it's not perfectly working. So you can start honking all of them, then honk the first note, and then tongue the first note. And it should make things a lot more easier when you're coming through to your flexibilities. Give this a go at home, practice along with a video if you want to, and after a couple of weeks you should notice that your flexibilities become more efficient, easy to get through, and your sound and range will improve from this too. Work on honking for a couple of weeks with your flexibilities. So you honk through each phrase and then you slur through it. And I guarantee with consistency, your flexibilities will improve, which will help you get a better sound, bigger range and more endurance because you're being more efficient and working with the trumpet rather than trying to fight it and dictate to it. Remember to hit that subscribe button and take the bell notification so you get more trumpet related videos. As always, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia and happy practicing.